Hi, my name is Jay Balachandran, and I am the medical director at the Sleep Wellness Institute. You may be watching this video today because you are wondering what happens during a sleep study or because you're preparing for your own. During this video, our very own lead sleep technician, Mindy, will demonstrate the setup process of a sleep study with the help of our sleep care manager, Kayla. You will also learn about everything that is measured while you are asleep and hopefully get an idea of what to expect during your sleep study. Thanks for watching. Step one. Mindy will start by prepping the skin for electrode application. With a cotton swab, she's applying what is called New Prep, which is an exfoliating skin prep gel. Note that the electrodes and wires are painless and you will not feel them while you are asleep. Step two. Using a tape measure and a washable china marker, Mindy is measuring the top of Kayla's head. This is because each electrode needs a precise placement to measure different areas of the brain that produce different types of brain waves. While Mindy finishes measuring, here are some do's and don'ts for your sleep study. Do wear loose fitted and comfortable sleepwear. Eat supper before you arrive. Come to the lab with clean and dry hair and let us know in advance if you have any extensions because they may need to be removed. If you are a CPAP user, bring your mask. Bring toiletry items, medications, and clothes to go home in. And if you so choose, bring your favorite pillow, blanket, book, or anything to make you more comfortable. Don't consume caffeine within eight hours of your appointment time. Don't consume any alcohol prior to your arrival. Don't take any naps during the day of your study. Don't use creams or body lotions on your skin, and please do not wear nail polish or fake nails. Another helpful tip for your sleep study is if during the night you have any questions or requests for a temperature adjustment or a brief disconnection to use the bathroom, all you need to do is speak into the room and the built-in microphone will pick up your sound so the technologist can come and assist you. Fortunately, you do not have to remove all of the wires to get out of bed if needed. The technologist only needs to disconnect two cords for you to be mobile. Step 3. The final phase of the setup begins. Mindy will first place patches on Kayla's chest. These patches are connected to an EKG, which is used to measure the heart rate and to check for any heart arrhythmia or abnormalities. She will also place them on Kayla's legs to monitor leg movement. Next, a snore microphone is secured on Kayla's neck to record if she is snoring. Mindy will now place two belts on Kayla to monitor her breathing effort. One is secured around her abdomen, and the other is secured around her chest. This body position sensor is Velcroed onto a belt so the technologist can document what position Kayla is sleeping in. The rest of the wires that Mindy will be applying are secured with a washable paste and hypoallergenic tape. These are both safe for skin and will make sure that the wires don't fall off during your sleep study, which is essential for returning the best results. Several wires will be placed on Kayla's head, starting with her forehead. These allow Mindy to monitor brain waves, which helps her determine what stage of sleep Kayla is in. Wires are then placed on Kayla's jaw to measure if she is clenching or grinding her teeth. These sensors can also measure when Kayla is experiencing REM sleep. And REM stands for rapid eye movement and is also known as dream sleep. Mindy will now place six wires on different spots on Kayla's head.
and one final electrode to measure eye movement and REM sleep. A finger monitor is placed to measure the level of oxygen. For best results, refrain from wearing any nail polish during your sleep study. And last but not least, Mindy is placing two cannulas on Kayla's nose. These are used to measure airflow. Once the cannulas are in place and plugged in, Kayla will be ready to lay down and start her sleep study. Your sleep study will end around 5 a.m. Many people feel they need to take off work, but your room is equipped with a private bathroom for you to use to get ready for the next day. We hope this video has helped you better understand what a sleep study entails. Our goal is to provide you with a 10-star experience. So please let us know how we can help accomplish that for you. If you have any questions, please call the number below or email marketing at sleepwell.org. Thank you for watching, and we hope we helped put you on the track to a better life through better sleep.